the day YouTubers. Hi, what's here? Uh, just want to give you all uh, two small reviews on the two uh, rework stations, uh, basically cut from the company AU, right? Um, proud to present the AU INT968 Plus and also the INT866 um, rework station or complete repairing station, okay? Uh, both of them are hot air rework stations. Uh, it's one of the best rework stations for your money. It has more expensive ones. It also has imitation brands that has the same design as the AUs. Um, but a lot of people recommend them because of its um, cost. Uh, not just its cost, but uh, its performance as well. Um, not everybody will be quite happy with it because, you know, uh, a lot of people were expecting more from it. But, you know, it's... Uh, economic tool but it is one of the best tools out there so far for the um, electronic industry which is the surface mount industry um, it is um, one of my personal favorite tools of all time I used it a lot uh, ever since I first got it you know it's been doing some work and it's a really really um, it's a really nice um, it's a really nice tool to have in your shop, you know, it's one of the main tools, but, you know, it's a tool that not anybody could actually use, because you could, you could damage yourself with it, and you understand, and it's not really, it's not really for beginners, sad to say, you had to have a lot of experience with using tools like these, especially with, you know, with um, adjustable air, hot air, that is, because hot air could, you know, it could cause you really bad, you know, um, so I will start the preview with the um, the INT968 Plus, right? I've seen, I've seen a few reviews on YouTube about it. Uh, very nice, very nice. Um, but I'll just give you like a basic tour on what you get with the tool itself from, you know, from AU. So grab the camera here and I'll show you what it's all about, okay? All right, so... This here is the AU968 Plus, right? This is one of the hot air adjustable rework stations. It also comes with a, as you can see, it comes with a vacuum pickup. That's to lift up um, VGAs, QFPs, QFNs. Um, PCCs and those other surface mount equipment. Very nice tool to have, you know. Um, it also has, it, you know, it, it comes in two flavors. It could actually get it, that con it actually connects with the vacuum side of this, or you could simply get one of these old bad boys here, which is a pen type vacuum pump. Um, these are really, really nice, very, very strong, right? It lifts up, you know, things quite easily, like that you know very strong um yeah so that's how it looks like it comes with the following it comes with a nozzle this is the hot air nozzle right it comes with multiple types of tips right um comes with a stand right it comes with instruction manuals right comes with an instruction manual on how to operate it, that kind of stuff. Um, it also comes with the pickup tool that I have shown you. This is the pickup tool right here. Alright, you cover this hole to get suction and you let go the hole to um, remove the chip or to let go the chip from the pickup. Right? It also comes with a few, it also comes with a uh, one of my personal favorites of all time. It comes with this soldering iron set right here. And a soldering holder. Right? So you could actually have your solder in a very neat sorry, you could actually have your solder in a neat um roll, as you can see. Right? So we now your solder all about the place. So I didn't mess on the uh, shop. It's been a while I've actually come in the shop because it's um um due to exams and whatnot. But anyhow, um Right, so this is the sorting iron it comes with. 
this is one of the best personal sorting iron I have ever used um, this one comes with uh, well I have installed a flat tip or shovel tip they call it right sorry you can't see it because of the damn thing right anyway so it comes with a shovel tip it also comes with other kinds of shovel um, other types of tips as well from very very fine pitch to um, I think this is more to this tip I mostly use to diesel, uh, for desoldering uh, BGA pads from um, PS3s and Xbox 360s and any other surface mount devices. Um, this little nozzle you see right on top here, this is a that is a smoke detect uh, a smoke absorber. So the smoke will not go into my face. Um, it will actually absorb this machine here will actually absorb the smoke and filters it out outside. So. I will have to get um, contaminated with smoke, right? Um, the performance of the, the the machine, I must say, is one of the best. Um, operating it is very very simple. However, you just need a, a, a lot of uh, understanding of the the machine on the whole, right? Um, this here is the for the soldering iron. This part right here. So when you turn on the oh, that folder, whatever. Anyhow, when you turn on the solder iron, which is this button right here, you'll see that red light comes on, and then you will see your temperature rising. That is rising for the the solder iron. Now, as you can see, it builds up heat very, very, very fast. You could also adjust your temperature, so like you could adjust it like for small components you do like for like 250 or 220 will be good right that's like small components and um, when you're ready to do like real heavy duty soldering you can crank it up all the way up to 480 degrees uh, my personal favorite for soldering is more on the 330 scale um, reason why it doesn't put too much of a compensation on heat on the um, on the part on the component itself right it also comes with a smoke absorber that's the smoke absorber I've just put on so when I'm doing any kind of soldering work like for example when I do so as you can see it already absorbed the smoke in the in the um set device right right so that's how it actually operates. The nice thing about it, it also comes with a sleep function. The sleep function is a very cool function, but I don't really use it because it does kind of fluctuate anything. Um, I have seen on Amazon there's a guy said that um, he had a problem with um, his AU stating that it wasn't um, it wasn't soldering lead free devices properly. Um, dude. Honestly speaking, it's all with it. it's all to deal with your flux and your temperature because the iron is providing efficient heat for your soldering, you know. And besides that, so I turn up the soldering iron. It does actually say hot, and when it reaches 100 degrees, it actually um, it actually says off. So I turn off the smoke absorber. Now. For the hot air, as you can see, this is for the um, hot air section right here. Everything is digital. The only downfall about it is that you see any words here very legible, very here in red. But this one is a little fuzzy, so it's a, it's a little hassle sometimes. But this is the this here is the air ball pressure. And this is the air pressure control to control the air coming out from this nozzle here. Uh, when you turn it on. Basically, at default, it starts at 90 degrees. You can adjust it as much as you want, all the way up to 480 degrees. Um, I wouldn't recommend going at 480 because you could actually pop corn um, chips, or you could even burn boards very, very easily with um, that kind of temperature, right? Um, all it does have to do when you have to adjust temperature because you're observing it on top here. This underneath here is for the one. This on top here is for the adjustment of your temperature. So all you just have to do is simply press, like crank it up all the way to 200. Uh, right? As you can see, 
um, pardon the cord, it's climbing up slowly. Right? You could, as you can see right here, it's at four. The air pressure is at four. You could adjust it all the way down to like zero. And then it, which is not recommended by the way, because you could burn out the um, the element on the one. So that you could adjust it at two. And or you could adjust it all the way up to six. Or five days call it. Yeah, five. All right? That's max air that's coming out from there, but the only thing it drops the temperature very, very badly until it catches itself and then it um builds back up. But it's still one of the nicest tools of all time. I normally adjust this bad boy at between three and a half for small components because you don't really want to blow any of the components out and whatnot. But yeah, it's a very beautiful thing. And when you turn it off like that, it sets off and what it does it basically blows cold air out the one to cool down the one and then it cuts off right about now. Okay. Yeah. This bad boy is very affordable, you can get it on Amazon. Um very reasonable price or you can get it on eBay, right? Um yeah, so this is one of my most personal favorite machines of all time. I've used it every single time for so any kind of rework, any type of soldering and whatnot. Um, due to, you know, cost and whatnot, you know, it, uh, it have other better tools than this, but for a budgeted um, piece of equipment, it's a must to have because it is one of the best um, small tools out there. Um, I personally want to buy another one like this. Um, I want to get an um, AU, um, probably a next 968 sooner or later, so it'll have two. Um, they also have better versions as well, bigger versions. Probably I could buy a bigger version. And it also, one thing I like about this is as it's all in one, you know, it's everything is right at your fingertips. You know, everything is right at your fingertips. Um, if you want tips, it have tips. If you want nozzles, it have nozzles different as uh, you know functions that kind of thing really really nice um piece of equipment uh is one of the most fundamental tools of all time for any hobbyist any professional um uh, whatnot you know it's very it's a very very beautiful tool um yeah you could also so in so check it out ebay or amazon company you could get is at sra products I will recommend SRA products because they will treat you very, very nice with a lot of good stuff. Um, yeah, so that's my small review of this. As you can see, it already went off. But the temperature already went below 100. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything for what is happening today at um, Gunshot in your AU968+. Plus. So um, don't, don't be afraid. Give it a check. You'll see for yourself. You'll love it. You know, it's a beautiful tool. A lot of people love it, you know. Um, oh, yeah. For the people who is dealing with lead-free, just like how I'm dealing with lead-free, um, it's all in the temperature. Uh, lead-free soda melts at 226 degrees. Lead melts at 190. So ensure that you set your soda and iron or your one at above 330. Sorry. 330 is too much. That will pop. That will burn parts. Um, 285 to 291 is my is more my recommendation. Use that to melt your lead free. Whether if it's BGA or if it's just lead soda balls like this bad boy right here, right? All lead. Um, feel free to, to you know ask me any questions concerning this pro this product and whatnot, and I will get to you as soon as possible, right? So. Yeah, so as I was saying, you know, having a product like that is a very, very remarkable product to get. You can use it for a number of things, you know. Um, it's something I would really, really recommend for the shop because due to its, um, its size and its performance and things, it's a, it's a very, very beautiful product, you know. So, be prepared for part two with the 866 um, rework station and we'll, um, we'll talk later, right? So, this is Bud's Bud's Eye Box speaking. Real talk. Bye.